Hi everyone, it's Darla at Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's Tip. A couple weeks ago for 3D Thursday, I made this cute little scarecrow using one of our new Halloween bundles. Um, and you can find the free tutorial on my blog, Scrap Happens here with Darla.com. But what I wanted to show you today on my Tuesday's Tip is I just wanna show you how to create this flower. I think I can zoom it up there. Um, it's a layered flower made from one sheet of Stampin' Up! cardstock. So I just wanted to show you how I did that and how fun it is to do. So let me get started. I have my Petal Park punch and I'm gonna punch a flower out of Daffodil Delight, or no, Crushed Curry, this is Crushed Curry. And then I thought I would do one out of um, Flirty Flamingo, so you could just see them in different colors. And I did wanna share uh, for the center of this flower, oh, there go my Sweet Tarts, um, or my Smarties, those are not Sweet Tarts, Smarties. For the center, I just used a, some gle bling, the Blooming Bur Pearls bling, I used a gold one, and that's, that's it. But I just wanted to show you how very easy this is. You just wad up your cardstock after you've punched it out. And you turn it the other way and wad it some more. I roll it in my hands. I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm just breaking the fibers in the cardstock so that I can separate them. And then I could make a layered flower. You can see like the paper, you know, it's really rigid at first, but after you roll it around and fold it, it becomes really pliable. And then you just separate it carefully. You want to do it carefully so you don't tear it. And then I like it too because it, it gives it this fuzzy, kind of soft texture in the, on the inside. You could use the other side and I just layer them and then, you know, put a glue dot to put them together. But I really like the fuzzy side. <laughs> so I always have the fuzzy side at first. These are great for treat boxes, for cards. And then let me show you the Flirty Flamingo one. You can use them for anything. Um, I think, I haven't tried it yet, but the new, some of the new Christmas sets have um, Christmas tree dies. And I think it'd be really cute to do with that. So that's on my list of things to do, which is getting longer and longer every day. <laughs> I haven't been home for several days. My, um, I went to a church retreat this weekend with my daughter-in-law and then had family, kids home. It was my son who died in a car wreck's birthday yesterday. So they came home Sunday for dinner. Most of the kids, not all of them. And then, um, and then we moved my son into a new home on Monday, which was my son's Adam's birthday. Anyway, it's been, been a busy time. Anyway, okay, so that one, this one, you can see I'm having to be a little more careful with it. My hands are a little shaky. <sighs> and so you can either do two different flowers. I'll have to make a card with these and I'll post it on my blog um, so you can see it. But you can, so you could use them for two separate flowers or you, again, you can layer them so the flower has texture. And then put a center in the middle. You could use a button, you can use bling. You can even use another piece of cardstock, um, like a white or early espresso. Makes good centers for the cards, for the flowers as well. So this is just a simple, fun technique that you can do while you're sitting around watching TV or just kind of bored, nothing else to do. If you have that kind of time, um, I love those nights when I can do that. I use them to color sometimes. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. 
If you like what you saw, hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. And be sure to follow me on my blog, Scrap Happens Here with Darla.com. I'm on Instagram and Facebook as well. And I try to share different things on, on all the different media so you're not bombarded with the same thing all the time. So check it out. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you next week with another Tuesday's tip. Goodbye for now.